All right, guys, today we're going to be back out here at Rancho Del Arroyo, and we're going to be going after a diamond bighorn because it's been quite a while since we've gotten one. All right, here we go, guys. We're going to be taking down our first bighorn sheep in the night with the red dot site here. Check this out. This is going to be pretty cool, actually. I didn't realize I was standing up. Whoops. All right, we'll get a little bit closer. Wait for him to turn broadside. <laughs> and just absolutely dust that big horn. There's another one down here as well. I just saw. Ooh, there we go. It's not the same one, but that's actually even bigger. 206 yards out. A really nice male big horn there. And he's right kind of behind that hill. So we're going to have to take a little bit of an interesting angle. Whoa. That's going to be even more difficult. All right, let's slide over a little bit here. And hope that he turns, or what I might do is actually drop that one first. Okay. I don't know if you guys saw that, but the first shot must have hit vitals on the small one. It didn't drop him. But then I pulled off a heart shot on the second one, which I honestly wasn't even sure if I was going to hit it or not because the little one was still partially blocking the vitals on the big ram. But then I saw it fall over, so that means we somehow made a perfect heart shot. All right, here we go. Our first bighorn of today's hunt, and we took him down with the red dot sight on the walk. Well, actually, he slowed down for a second at about 150 yards out, quartering away. And made a beautiful double lung liver shot. 128 silver. Just shy of being a gold. Hold up, hold up, hold up. What do we got out here? Oh my god, we got a couple of absolute massive, massive muleys. Look at the size of that buck. 236 to 297 on that absolute giant buck just sitting out there feeding at about 280 yards out. Wow. There's another deer right back there as well. And it looks to be another massive buck too. Holy. This spot here is an absolute gold mine for giant bucks. And um, this spot is where we ended up getting one of our biggest mule deer of all time on this map right here. I'll show you where we're at in one second. We're on the very southeast end of the map by Los Charcos. And we have a tent set up right here. But this back wall right here between this tent and this mountain is just loaded with giant bucks they're always back there we did lose um an even bigger one or at least like similar to the same size as the one that we did end up getting finally right up on that mountain right there we watched them trot off and we were in multiplayer and then the game disconnected and we never did find that buck again but luckily enough we came back here on my map one time and boy did we ever find a giant Ooh. Hold up, we found a whole separate herd of muleys and there's another buck bedded down there at about 180. I still don't see these bighorn yet. They're calling. I know there's bighorn here, but I don't know where they went or where they are, I should say. Maybe they moved on, maybe not. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a nice shot on this beautiful muley buck right now. Um, not exactly at that angle, but oh, he definitely sees us now. The wind is blowing right towards him. Here we go. This is going to be our chance. That's a little bit too much of an angle. Just barely. All right, that'll work. Smoked him. Perfect shot. And he's going down right there, guys. We got him. Boy, that took quite a while to get him to turn broadside and cooperate with us. But eventually, he finally did just that. And we made it happen. Let's go over there and go take a look. What a nice little bonus. You know, I mean, we're out here hunting for nice bighorn sheep. And we find a beautiful muley buck bedded out there. Not too far away, just over the next ridge. And so we did, in fact, take him down. Oh, it's a coyote. I was like, what the heck is that? It's only a female, so I'm going to take a shot with the AR-308. But I don't think we got it, surprisingly. I thought we would have had it. Well, 
We might not have gotten him the first shot, but we absolutely rolled him the second one. Now, I am kind of curious because typically you want to get coyotes because they'll give you lots of money. But if we use the wrong rifle, are we still going to get a decent amount of money? Like, is it really worth just using the correct rifle just to get a lot of money on these coyotes? Or can you just use whatever you have on you to get extra money really quick? That way it doesn't really matter um, what rifle you have on you. You just use it as long as you make a good vital hit. Oh, check this out. Look, our buck's laying right next to our coyote. I didn't realize how close it was. But are we going to get a decent amount of money for this coyote? Double lung shot. So perfect shot. 971 cash it's definitely worth it the 30 odd six or the 308 caliber is definitely worth it and take a look at that money shot right there double long and it looks like it pretty much went right through the top of the heart but yeah almost a thousand cash i'll definitely take it and from now on i'm gonna start using this on coyotes a lot more all right but here is our big muley buck a 257 got a double lung liver shot at 180 yards out quartering away Man, that shot was perfect, too. We pretty much hit every single vital that we possibly could have. And a solid, solid buck down. 257. Oh, hold up. We jumped up another nice mule here. Looked to be a solid... Ooh, it's a nice, really nice level three. Not a giant, but it's a really, really nice buck. Definitely a shooter for sure. If he would have cut left there, I would have taken the shot in a second. But he decided to go right. Oh. <laughs> oh, we smoked him. He turned a little bit for us there. Something just ran through here. And uh, we held it right above the heart as he turned and he just crumbled right on the spot. Oh, those were bighorn. All right, we'll have to go over there and check those out in a second, but nice, nice bonus as well. That was pretty sweet. Another solid buck down. Should be like a 180 plus. Definitely a good one for sure. Nowhere near as big as that last one, but a good solid buck and a shooter buck is a shooter buck. I mean, when you see a rack like that as you're approaching a buck, you know you got a good one. Here he is. It's going to be a 223 gold. Pulled off a neck. Oh, shoulder blade neck shot. So the shot wasn't exactly perfect like I wanted it to be. In fact, I was pretty lucky. We were high. We were way high, but he was also turning too. When, he, when we took that shot, he spun, right? So had he not spun, we probably would have hit him like right here. But since he spun back this way, or towards us, I should say, we ended up catching him right there. Still dropped him, though, and got a gold, so we'll take it. And you know what I just realized? We almost forgot to go over there and pick up that giant bighorn that we got in the very beginning, where we took down the small one next to it. As we came around this point here, then I just realized, oh, yeah, I remember that spot. We got a big ram down over there, and we got to go get him. And he happens to be laying right in front of us. All right, here he is. He's a big one. Look at the size of the curl and the mass on this ram right here. Let's pick him up. It's going to be a 147.5, and we pulled off a double lung and heart shot straight through the center of the heart there. So what a perfect shot and a big ram down, 147. I could tell that was going to be a ram right there. I knew it wasn't going to be big, but it's definitely another ram. Level three out there at about 250. And we'll just sink one right through the heart and drop him right there. We got a bunch of females out there, but I think we're going to hold off on them because there's no rams. I figured there might be at least one ram in there, but looks like it's going to be a no-go. All right, here's our ram that we took at about 230 yards and did, in fact, not quite catch heart. But got double lung at 230 and pulled off a gold 133. I'm surprised we did not pull off a heart shot. We were just a little bit too far back, I suppose. We got another muley buck out here, not because it's a giant, but because it's going to be a perfect broadside potential heart shot. We're going to go for it, and then we're going to try and get a follow-up on this one as well. So here we go. 320 yards. We'll have the AR-308, and we're going to try and pull off a double. Well, we absolutely smoked the first one. He's going down, and the second one should be going down as well. So we did, in fact, pull off that double. That one's down and that one's down as well. Surprisingly, though, we did not catch the heart on that first shot. Like, I honestly kind of want to know where we actually did, in fact, hit to where it would have prevented us from hitting a heart shot. All right, so we shot both of them right here, and you can see two vital hits. And then the one ran this way, which is piled up right here, and the other one piled up 
maybe 50 yards to the east. All right, so here's this one. That's the second one. We got a stomach, liver, and lung at 320. Now let's try and find that first buck and figure out where we hit to where it wouldn't have hit the heart. All right, here's our buck laying right here on top of this hill. And let's have a look. Double lung at 200 yards and... <laughs> uh, so what it was is we were kind of elevated on top of that mountain shooting downwards. And we got a little bit of raise where I should have compensated for that just a little bit more. But I mean, that shot was absolutely perfect. Like, you can't complain about that. We basically just nicked the top of the heart, shoulder blade and double lung at 320 yards. Well, we kicked up another level three bighorn right there, running through at about 140 yards out. We might try and get on him. There he is. I see him out there at 230 yards out. He's slowing down for us. Smoked him. And he's going down right there. He actually wasn't a bad sized ram. I kicked him up down here. We could have taken the shot, but I hit the wrong side of my mouse and uh, wasn't able to take the shot. Well, we hit him there and he ran 20 yards. So, I mean, I guess it was maybe. Yeah, it was only a single lung. He just went down super, super fast. Just caught the front of the lung and a 122. We jumped up a length right there. And like I was saying before, I'm pretty sure we might be able to get some cash out of this. So we're going to go for a shot just to find out. That or I could just miss completely and not get a shot off, but we got a white tail buck out here and we're going to finish him off with this video. Well, that's a doe. But that is a buck. You know, I think we might actually go right through that tree. Yep, we're going right through. We are going right through that tree. Oh, <laughs> did you see that thing roll down the hill? Oh man, and I'm pretty sure we went through the tree as well because I never saw anything come out through here. I don't see him piled up there, but I never saw any movement. So let's go over there and go find out. But I'll tell you what, that second shot was absolutely epic. All right, so I'm not exactly sure which one this is here, but I'm pretty sure that's going to be, oh, that is the first one. So yeah, that does in fact mean we went right through that tree and smoked him. Double lunged him at 219 yards. And then this guy here, man, that was awesome. All right, let's pick him up. And that is going to be a 166 and made a perfect double lung shot at 200 yards. But that's going to wrap up for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.